Greetings all you maniacs of the Miners Manic Rhymes, welcome back to yet another installment of Manic Mondays. So today, I am going to be talking about Spyro, and also how I'm going to record it on my Xbox, because I'm not going to be using my capture card. Uh, the reason I'm not going to be using my capture card is because I simply don't trust my flash drive. Like, it's really weird and janky, it says it has 60 gigabytes on it, but... It doesn't act like it has 60 gigabytes. It's like, oh, uh, 4 gigabytes is larger than 60. What? I don't get it. I formatted it. I've reformatted it. I've changed the format back and forth. I've done everything I know to fix it. And it's just so weird. So, how I'm going to record it. There's a neat little thing you can do with Xbox and Windows 10. You can live stream game footage from your Xbox onto your PC. That's awesome. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be screen capping the live stream onto my PC. I've done several test recordings of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, which is a game that runs in 1080p 60fps, and it runs in 720 60fps, uh, the recording is. So that's acceptable. I just hope that Spyro runs in 60 if it doesn't, that's going to really be annoying because it won't look as good. It will look weird because you're recording it in 60, but it's actually running in 30. I hope to God that it runs in 60. That's my only concern with Spyro. Please run in 60 FPS. If Xenoverse 2, a game that probably is way more demanding, can run at a constant 60 FPS then Spyro can. There's no reason why it shouldn't run in 60. I have the basic axe, basic axe, yeah, basic ass Xbox. But Xenoverse 2 still runs in 60. The Master Chief Collection runs in 60. All the games I ever play on it, except for like backwards compatible games, run in 60 FPS. So, if Spyro doesn't run in 60 FPS, I'm going to be a little annoyed, and that's going to make recording it a little annoying, and it's going to look really weird, but if it runs in 60, it it better. It freaking better run in 60. It's probably going to. I'm probably freaking out over nothing, but... 720p 60fps is more than acceptable for YouTube. I know I typically do 1080p 60, but it's not that much of a... Of a downgrade, you could definitely see it if if you're on a uh, PC, but you know it's either slightly lower quality or the footage is corrupted because that has actually happened to me. Here's a little story: when I was doing a Xenoverse Two series way back when, when I made um, a new custom character with a really weird backstory, I, I don't know. You can see the playlist. It's Amoeba, which is basically Universe 6 version of Cell, if you've ever watched Dragon Ball. But when I was recording like the third or fourth episode of that, I recorded for 40 minutes. None of it recorded. Because of my stupid effing USB drive. Why? All this shit happens to me all the time. But with... The new setup I'm going to be running, I know I really should have a cable to my PC and do that way so it's even more flawless. And then I can maybe uh, get away with re uh, stream recording in 1080p, but I don't have a cord. So, it should definitely be fine because I'll be able to record as long as I want. I can record, like, I don't want to record for over two hours. I think... I think for Spyro, I'm going to try to make the episodes around 20 minutes. I don't want to condense it too much because it's just not the way the game is. From watching Jack play it, it is much better as a longer Let's Play because you get you get more of the adventure, you get more of the just the world and just everything. So if the episodes are 20 minutes plus, then they're 20 minutes plus. I don't want them to be over an hour, but maybe for a few, they will be over an hour. Unless I'm trying something over and over again, of course, I'll cut that out until I win or I give up. 
either one could happen. I mean, I don't know how hard the game is going to be. I play Dark Souls, so it's not going to be that hard. <laughs> I, pl- I kid. But being able to stream to my PC and record that, that's awesome. That is so cool. If only you could do that with a PS4. But no, apparently not. Apparently that's not allowed. It would be cool if that was allowed because then I would be able to record Bloodborne super easily. To be fair, my capture card can record on PS4. It doesn't care what you plug it into. It's going to record it. It's just... I'm going to need a separate cable and a few other things to make it work. And hope to God that my uh, stupid flash drive will work properly. So... Like I said a while ago, when I decided to play Spyro, even though it's not out yet. I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to start with Spyro 1 and 2. I'm going to play Spyro 3 in my off time, simply because I've seen the entire game and there's really no point. Spyro 1 and 2, I have basically no knowledge of it. I've heard a little bit about the Spyro 2 main antagonist and how he's really a good antagonist. uh, But... Other than that, I'm I'm kind of brain dead when it comes to Spyro because I never played it as a kid. Or maybe, no, I haven't. I, I played Crash as a kid. I played Crash Team Racing a little bit, but that's really it. But anyway, that's my plans for how I'm going to record Spyro. I don't know if it's going to be how I'm going to record all console games because I'm mostly on PC simply because I can record in 1080p 60fps for as long as I want and it nothing happens to it. It works perfectly all the time. The only times it ever uh, kind of freaks out if my computer is doing something stupid. But, you know, it's either slightly lower quality or the footage never gets recorded and I'm like, ah, oh, sorry, I did this and this and this last episode but it didn't record. I don't want to do that. That sucks. That blows. That's all. That's always annoying when that happens. It's like, oh, the footage didn't record properly. Oh, great. I just wasted two and a half hours. I am thankful that none of that happened with Subnautica. Well, except for that one episode. But anyway, that's my plans. That's what I'm sticking to. I am super goddamn excited for my birthday. Bloodborne. And Spyro. Spyro is going to be the main thing I'm going to be doing on the channel because I can actually record it easily. Um, I will, in fact, eventually when I beat Bloodborne, because I'm going to beat it. Of course I am. I'm going to do a review on it, and hopefully I can actually have some background footage of it. Because it would be weird if I had a Bloodborne review without Bloodborne background footage. That would be weird. And I don't want to do that. So... I think this is a good compromise, slightly lower quality, but I can guarantee that the episodes are going to come out. I don't know the frequency I'm going to uh, I'm going to pump out spiral content. Maybe every other day or every few days I'll do spiral. So yeah. I just I really can't wait and I'd say I would do a birthday live stream, but that ain't going to happen. Sorry. Eventually, I will do a live stream or maybe just a series of uh, Dark Souls 1 SL1 run, but most likely a live stream down the road once I've actually gotten everything figured out. And if I actually decide to do it or not, I posted on my Twitter that I did, in fact, beat that game SL1. Did I exploit the shit out of the game? Not really. Sort of. But the game is glitchy and buggy as fuck, so of course there's you're going to be able to exploit it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment. And remember, in Troby, we trust.